This is very exciting for me because in the studio with us, you would have heard a 24-second interview yeah. uh, just recently. <laughs> uh, uh, this lady is taking Hollywood by storm. There is no doubt about it. Yvonne Strahovski has starred in uh, 24, Live Another Day with Kiefer, who I love. Also starred in Dexter, loves yep. a serial killer, mm -hmm. and is about to star in a, uh, a film called Manhattan Nocturne with Adrian Brody. Yes. Yvonne, your star is rising big time. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now, first question has to be. Uh, Jack Bauer is just, so, I'm such a fan of Jack Bauer and the whole 24 uh, franchise. Tell me what it was like to work with Kiefer. It was really great. You know, I really uh, walked away with such an admiration for him. He's really, he puts his all into the role of Jack Bauer. Mm. I mean, he is Jack Bauer, but he mm. also, as an executive producer of the show, is very involved in, in the behind the scenes of it as well and really pays attention to, to everything, everything. A lot yeah. of attention to detail and, mm. and I found it to be really collaborative with him and the directors and the, and the creators and writers. Yeah, I reckon if you stick with it, the 24 franchise could really kick off. <laughs> no, well, I have heard rumours that you, Yvonne, uh, they were so impressed with you on the set of 24 that uh, there is a chance that Kate and Tom could be, your character, could be the new sort of figurehead. The new spin, yeah, yeah, the spin-off rumours. Have you uh, heard that rumour? I've heard the rumours, yeah. Look, yeah. I mean, I, I, I <laughs> did, don't did you, know. Did you hear the rumour from your agent and was it written on a contract? <laughs> <laughs> no, not that far advanced. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm, look, I think studios consider things like that. I, I don't know if they would ever, you know, that would come to fruition, but you mm, know, you know. That'd be know. great. You know, when you work with someone like Kiefer Sutherland, who's a huge star and has been around for a long time, do you ever feel compelled to do research on your co star before you start? Working with them, like, do you go back and watch a couple of, you know, Lost mm. Boys or mm. do you know I, Young I, Guns or something before I, you start? I probably feel I feel like I should. I'm one of those people that never does because I feel like it just makes it more intimidating for me. So I, I try right. and just uh, naivety is bliss in a, in a sense yeah, when yeah, you yeah, come yeah. to set and you work with people like Kiefer or Barbara Streisand or yes. Robert De Niro. It's just you know I'm. Pull back a little and just sort of treat them like an equal, like a normal person, and yeah, and sure, it'll be fine. Is there, is there someone who would in overly intimidate you, do you think? If you got to work with them? Uh, probably Meryl Streep would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, She's obviously a hero of yours, is she? Wing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, look, in, it makes me laugh in 24 because you do so much. Uh, this particular series, you just got tortured. One minute you're being tortured, the next minute <laughs> yes. you're up and running and shooting people. <laughs> um, is your life vaguely as busy as that in real life? You know, sometimes it is. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit when it rains, it pours in, in, in this business. Mm. You know, you can. I, I've, I've just spent two months having a lovely time in Malibu where I live and surfing and then suddenly, boom, you know, everything's happening so, at so once. So tell me, because we hear about Australians go to uh, mm. LA and hope to make it big and you are clearly doing that. How hard is it? Uh, I, it's hard. It's very competitive. It's obviously the mecca of the acting industry. So there's a lot of competition. Mm. I mean, you know, and, and I think with the there's been a decrease in the amount of films that are being made. So you've got all the sort mm. of film people coming into television now, mm. which pushes all the newcomers even further down. And right. it's hard, harder to rise up. I think I came in at a good time because I've been there eight years now. Mm. When yeah. young Aussies get there, do you try and psych them out? Yeah, it's really tough. I'd, I'd head back home if You're I was you. Yeah, this is <laughs> oh, oh. Um, no, I don't. Right. <laughs> that would not be nice. No, no, <laughs> that, that would, would be, be most nice. unkind, in <laughs> fact. <laughs> that would, would be unkind. Um, and Yvonne, you're doing this film with Adrian Brody. I mean, that, that sounds... Fantastic too. Where are you filming it? Uh, that's going to be in New York. It's actually based on a book called Manhattan Nocturne. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the, the city sort of plays its own character. I think yeah. in the in the book in the film. Yeah. So when you come home, because you're living in LA now, of course, what do you look forward to the most? What do you miss the most about Australia? Oh uh, well, my folks are here, so obviously yeah. my folks, and I miss Australian wildlife and beaches and nature because I grew up camping and hiking, mm. and um, I was a bit, a bit of a tomboy. So I, I used to go out into the Blue Mountains for a couple of days with my backpack. And yeah, no, nice. I miss that. Where yeah. do you do that in America? Well, I don't because I feel like I, there's just too many large animals that can maul you <laughs> oh. over there. Whereas here we, we have snakes. I feel like they're manageable. They're smaller. Oh, but the gosh. bears and the mountain so, lions, yeah. I'm a little intimidated yeah. You don't want to run into a bear. No. Yeah. I have run into a bear You can't one. spray a bear with arrogant. Have you really? You've run into a bear? I have. I was in Mammoth on a ski trip and I was walking my dogs uh, late at night in the, in the middle of this, you know, condominium sort of complex around the pool and... There was this giant black bear. I came around the corner and he was right there and my dogs went straight for him and Whoa. started barking. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to see my dog get eaten alive oh. right now. And, mm. 
and they thankfully survived, and I survived. Wow. And, <laughs> and did the bear run away? Yes, but it scared the crap out of oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> really, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's well, amazing. We're glad you? to say that you are still here and yes. fine and fit. <laughs> well, Yvonne, it's so lovely to meet you, and congratulations. You've done a fantastic job. We should say that uh, 24 Live Another Day is available on Blu-ray and DVD on October the 1st. Yep. It's well worth a look. Absolutely. Uh, Yvonne Superstar, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks, thank Yvonne. You.